Yeah. Oh, I'm starting. Yeah, go ahead, oh, on. So I, I, I think I started, obviously, I try and learn a little bit ahead, but uh, I think that the sugya by Peretz is chasana on the daf is going to be Pesach Pesuach. You can't no, make it up. That's Tess, I think, no? What? Nothing will make <laughs> me proud. <laughs> Peretz, it's a, shame we, it's a shame we couldn't record the conversation we were having about an hour ago. <laughs> What are, you, what are you saying, Akiva? I, I, I think Aaron's right. I think I think Pesach Vasuach starts that test, or Ches. It's yeah. a ref, not the main sugya, but it's the reference. There's, there's references to it. If Aaron's laughing, uh, laughing, that the mice said, that's what we remember from Yeshiva. <laughs> anyway, um... No, I mean, I Aaron, that's, that's, how we, that's how we always told all of our band the zipper is down. I got it, Bert. Yeah, I think it's, I think there's references to it at least. I know the main sug is Tess, right? Um, yeah, but anyway, either yeah or no. I mean, it's, the in, the Shem, it's in the Shemar Brockers. How about that? That, yeah. Yeah. Um, no, it's on on Hey and Bays. It's there's all references to it. Yeah, Dam Mifkat Pocket Chiburim. Of course it is. Oh, Dam Mifkat Pocket so good. That whole that long Pisces. Oh, you very. Oh, Aaron, Aaron, that captain, very good. The Bakias, the Bakias. Yeah, 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 yeah. My mom is having flashbacks now. I may have to go pull out my old Gamora. Yeah, wait, we'll we till we get to Nida, we'll see his Bakias. No, I don't have any Bakias on the Nida. <laughs> Aaron, where are you pulling this out from? Uh, Akiva, just wait. There's a couple of good Migos over there. Just wait. Okay, you know what? Maybe he'll say the shear by by the chasana, and I'll go down. I can't wait for Abar to, to give him shear the difference. You, you know, the Rishayim's Machlek is about what Svex Veik is. <laughs> Aaron, you have any uh, you have any chaburis on Bar Vishama? <laughs> Bar Vishama Adif, no. Um. Yeah. Okay, so let's go. So yeah, you, get you should just you should just know I told Parrots earlier that I got a call today from Sergey, the the chef who's cooked for us a few times for the, the barbecue. Did you see him? Yeah. The guy who started learning because of us, Baruch Hashem. He says, I don't understand. You guys are not making a sim of your bonus? Oh, that's very nice. I'm a hundred percent masking, Aaron. hundred percent masking. This is this is not this is not this is not a proper CM for your bonus. He's like, I made it through your bonus. There's no CM, he says to me. And so got we, said, to we, the wedding. we sent them an invite to well, the wedding. Uh, maybe, maybe we should make a seven rockets instead. We'll have a barbecue for seven rockets. That makes a lot more sense. Stoves, stoves, stoves. If you make us wait seven and a half years to make a CMO on Yavamas by your chast, you know, we're going to throw you off the dock beforehand. <laughs> I'll make a CMO on chast then. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Anyways, okay, let's go. It's getting late. So, uh, so yesterday we ended off. Oh, by the way, of course, Bar Hashem, um, I got two Masiach Lefitume Shilas today from about about uh, Goyim. So uh, well, well, we'll discuss it, but that's what the sugi left off with yesterday. So when we believe a guy, it's Masiach Lefitume, right? With a little translation. Okay, of Zach, I'm sorry, but just before you start, tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Time, 10 to 6. No, Shabbos hasn't moved. Really. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, 10 to 6, 10 o'clock. Okay. Thank you. Um, anyway, so so we said yesterday, when do we believe a guy? When the guy is not saying Eidos. He just comes and Islam says that he's Masiyah Lefitumba. Right? That he just he just happens to be saying things. So so we're uh, we're about ten lines up from the bottom. Ahud, second word from the end of the line. Ahud da have a Yeah, it says uh here you have it. Yes, it was the fellow who was a there was a there was a guy who was going and saying Vile the Parsha's Riza to have a Badisa the Shachiv. Woe is to the guy Parsha's Riza, the guy who Rashi is a Gibor Chayel. He was a strong fellow, 
and he was a yid, Dava Pumpadisa, the Shachiv, that he was the strong guy in Pumpadisa, and he and he Shachiv, he lay down, literally means he died. The answer of Yosef, he tame a Rava the Visu, and based on what this guy said, Rabbi Yosef, and some say Rava, matter the wife. Right? Because so, he was just saying it, he wasn't coming to say any halachic things, the guy. He was just saying, by the way, this big strong guy died. There was a, another guy who was going and saying, Man Ika be chasa, um, tava chasa. Who, who's here from the, from the, from the house of Chasa? Because Chasa died. So he, he basically was coming to tell, tell everybody the news that the Chasa died. So Amarav Nachman, Halakim, Halakim, Achlu Kavri the Chasa. Halakim means like by Hashem. The, um, the Kavri, the, the fish, um, ate Chasa. So the Rav Nachman, also the visu the chasav in Sivan, based on Rav Nachman's words. So his wife went, Chasa's wife went and got remarried, right? Um, which is interesting. Veloy Amru La Veloy Midi, and nobody told her anything. Meaning, it's interesting. Is it sounds like she didn't get a heter. She heard, she just heard Rav Nachman say that the fish ate Chasa. And she just assumed that that's her hetter, right? Which is interesting also because if you look at Rashi, the Rashi a few lines up, he says, but from Rav Nachman's speech, because Rav Nachman's, I mean, it almost sounds insensitive, Lahavdal, if you could say that. You hear somebody, a guy says, oh, this guy drowned. So you say, Halikim, the, the fish are eating him, right? So the wife heard this and then Rav, and, and Rav Nachman Rashi says Rav Nachman didn't daven for him. So that means Rav Nachman just assumed, like the guy said, that he died and there was nothing to talk about. Had she heard Rav Nachman say, oh, maybe we should daven that Hashem, he should be saved, then she wouldn't have gotten remarried because that means Rav Nachman didn't necessarily believe that it's true. Right? Or he believed that maybe he could still come out alive. But by him saying it that way, so she just assumed that she has a heter because he died. Yeah. So Rav Asura. This that the Rabbanon said that water that doesn't have a saif, right? Ishtai asura, meaning it's endless water like a river or ocean. Hani mi lilchatchila. That's all lilchatchila. Avali nasev loy mafkinen milim. But if she gets married based on her husband disappearing from water that was in a river or ocean, lemaisa we're not going to make her get divorced. Yeah, ikadamri into the Rav Nachman the visu when he when Rav Nachman heard. Um, that this this guy said that Chasa drowned, so then he allowed Rab Nachman gave permission for her to get married. Omar he said Chasa Gavra Rabbi Isay. Chasa was a big man. Im Isa the Salik Kala Islay Lamilsa, like we said yesterday, if it would taka be that he got out of the water, everybody would know about it because he was a popular person. The Lohi, and it's not true. Loishna Gavra Rabba, Loishna Lav Gavra Rabba, like we said yesterday, it doesn't make a difference. Whether he's a gavar rabba or not, the evid in lechatchila lo, the evid yes and lechatchila not. Fine. How have we chavim to have a kamer lele yisrael ketol aspasta ushtei lechavi b'shabasel? So this guy told a yid, cut this aspasta, some sort of uh, um, what do we call it? That we used to call it vetch. Maybe is it like it's animal food? Cut the animal food and give it to the animals on Shabbos. Be lie, and if you don't do this, ketil nelach. I'm going to kill you, kid the Katilna la Pliny by Yisrael, the same way I killed Pliny. Damri lay, because if I, I told him, Bashili Kadera Bashavas, I said to him, cook for me on Shabbos, Veloy Bishali, and he didn't cook for me, but Katil saying I killed him. Right? So he's saying, so this was again, Masiach Lifitume. So Shama Devisu, so his wife heard about this, that this fellow killed her husband, Vasoy la Kameh Dabai, and she came in front of Abaya because she wanted to get remarried. Shahisa, I'm Shahisa. I'm sorry. So Shah means like he delayed it. He he held off from paskening on Talmud Aleph now. Plus a Wrigley. So Abaya held off from paskening for three regalim. Right. Um, now there's a very interesting Rashi on this, but let's first finish this. So Abaya, let's finish the story first. So Abaya first he waited three on Talmud. So Amar Lo Ravada Barava Zilla Kameda Rav Yosef go in front of Rav Yosef the Charif. Sakine, because his knife is very sharp, meaning he's a very sharp fellow, he'll give you a psak. Ozla Kame, she went in front of him, Pashat Mehom Asnisin, and then he said, Pshad, he passed him from our Mishnah. If you have a guy 
who's selling Paris in the Shuk. Now, if you listen to this carefully, it's actually the guy being Mahmer, and we don't listen to him. These Paris are Arla, right? Meaning that they're from a fresh tree. Arla is the first three years. The growth is from the first three years. So this guy is trying to make a sale, the, the idiot, right? And he's selling everybody, oh, it's from Arla, from the first three years. They're from Azika, which is a Choshava, Rashi says it's a Choshava Pardis, they're also from the fourth year, meaning, and he meant to say this, that everybody should think that these are fresh fruit, that these are not from old tree, without realizing that he's really going to make everybody stop buying from him, saying that uh, that it's Arla and all that. So the, so the question is, can we buy the fruit from him, or do we assume that it's Arla? So Loyal Marklum, he said nothing, and you could eat the fruit. Meaning, even though he said it's Arla, he's, he's telling you that it's also the guy. All his kavana was, he was just trying to pump up. He was being mishabeach, his sales. So he, so he was saying all these things, but you don't have to believe him. Right? So you see that, that we don't believe him, even if he's trying to tell you, to tell you this, uh, right, that he's trying to make a sale and he's telling you a chumrah. Right? Um, so now, because of this, Rabbi Yosef said that um, that you'd believe the guy, you're going to believe the guy that killed the yid because the yid didn't listen to him, right? We don't meaning we don't say that it's in this meaning in this way we're we're still going to trust the guy that because the yid didn't listen to him, so then he killed him, right? Um, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I said it the other way around. He fakert, he paskin that you cannot let, he cannot get married. Right? No, I said it, I'm sorry, hey, I apologize. She. He, he paskin, I'm sorry, she cannot, he paskin, she cannot get married because this guy is not believed. He's not believed. He's just, we're assuming that this guy's saying this to this fellow for the intimidation of it. Right? That's why he said, if you don't if you don't pick the vegetables of me on Shabbos, I'm going to kill you the same way I killed the guy who I asked to cook on Shabbos. Right? Anyway, so so that's what we're saying. So what comes out here, we're not going to believe in even the So I had a Shiloh today of a woman who went to an irreligious OBGYN. Dr. Corman on. Went to an irreligious OBGYN and he says during the exam, that he sees blood inside her. So now, basically, that makes her into a nida. Right? That makes her into a nida. So, unless you say you don't believe him. Right? If you believe him, which a not religious person is considered like a guy. But and I, I thought you said the guy needs a letter. No, but this is the other way. We don't believe. What do you mean? So in order no, to you believe said that it, the guy would would have to be willing to sign a letter testifying to the fact. No, but here, here, should we believe him lechumra? No, right? I'm saying I, I know. So I'm saying, why not make him force him to do jump through all these hoops also? No, but one thing to make him jump through hoops for a kula. Would you even need to make him jump through hoops for a chumra too? So that's what this Gemara is saying. You no, you you. I mean, you still would have to. Meaning, you don't trust him. You don't trust him. So we don't have to. We we can assume. Uh, I don't you them. don't they, trust them for what? Meaning, you don't have to ask him to give us the letter to that say. you can trust. No, you don't trust. We don't trust that the dam or was or was dam nida. Right, that's at least the way the Chassidus Shapaisim say. We don't care about what he says. We don't care about what he says. The Chassidus Shapaisim can go and explain it by saying that he says it's dumb, but it could have been brown. It could have been this. He won't know. So he just says it's dumb because he sees anything there. He'll tell you it's blood. I I I very puzzled because I had the opposite cases. I knew there was. A, I remember being present at a say we say a Jewish hospital in Israeli. Uh, Obi was bragging to his friend that he always tells him it's not. I need the blood. So I was always under the impression that you have to be Choshesh um, for the uh, Namonis of a Rofe who's uh, irreligious or whatever to be Choshesh Lechumra. So I never heard a case where somebody said we should be Choshesh, we should be Lakula, and a case was of involving Karas. That's not what I was told and is not what I've ever heard before. So it's interesting. It's a difference. 
saw blood or whether there was blood and he's saying where it was from. If there was blood and he's saying where it was from, he's not believed. But if he says, Ramayisha has a chuva, if he says there was blood and he says it comes from blood, then we believe him because he could have just not said anything. Right? I, I don't understand. So say again, when, when is he believed? When is he not believed? Herself sees blood and she goes, the doctor and the doctor says a religious doctor says nah it's not it's not need the blood we don't we don't believe him it's only where he says he saw blood and he says it's not need the blood then that's more makeable because if he really didn't want her to be in need the, he would have just kept his mouth shut and said i didn't see anything all right my, my experience is is opposite my experience is that doctors uh, deliberately say it's not need the blood to make their patients happy i, I I know personally, I saw that, I witnessed it myself. So from that point on, I, I was suspicious of a person that does not show a Torah mitzvah, that, that, uh, that's my own experience. Maybe it's different today, but no. that's... We're not saying anything different than that. We're not saying anything different than that. It's just a different, it's a different scenario. It's a different scenario. Either way, and then there was a cleaning lady today who said that she only makes coffee and then she ended up using... Uh, Flay she says milk and she wasn't supposed to make coffee. She brings her own mug, the utensils, da 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 da, whatever. I'm saying you can't believe, you can't believe them that they, that they only use their own utensil. And they made coffee. You don't know. You have no idea whether what they. Anyway, so that's what the Gemara is saying. Fine, Abba you, no, Abba you don't. Oh, so the Rashi, the top Rashi, fascinating thing here, for those that daven Chasidus Shemiyonim. Second line down in the Rashi. Yo, b'tshuvas ha'ga'inim. Matsasi kol hanach rigli da amayroi. When it says that, what do we assume it means? Right. So Rashi first says it was Pesach, and uh, you know with the yomim tovim. But he says Rashi says he found the tshuvas agayinim that when the what regalim here mean is that the yom shemais by adam gadol kaivim oisay lechvaydoi. They make a, a yom tif lechvaydoi like a hilu. On his yard site, they, uh, what? Right? On his yard site, they made a hilula, whatever. They went to sit and learn. You see a lot of things over here. You go to the cave on the yard site. And there's a, it's almost like a yomtif. It's, it's a yomtif in the sense that you're supposed to be learning the whole day. Not to go to the cavern to have geschmack. That's not, okay. that's not what it says. It doesn't say you should go there just for chill. Correct, but you call, but they the are The yom tiv them meant learning, coming together for the whole day to learn. Rashi said at the end, well, you should be shiva sham. He's not they saying call, just for, you know, to have, to sing songs. Yes, 100%. Um, and, and those, is and he those saying tachnun. the... Oh, so that's the question. Some want to say from here that there's no tachnun said on a, on a hilula. Right? Because it's yomtif. It's yomtif. Right? Is, is Rashi saying that according to this, we're back to the three days from the last Mishnah? Back to the every three... Day is some, every day is another Godel's yard site. What do you mean? He waited three Wrigley. Right? Right. Trust the Wrigley. right. By the Hasidim, that's three days. Yeah, but I don't know if he means one. Well, he meant three yard sites, I think. No, that's three days, basically. Yeah. Um, what, what's that? I, I lost something. Shalos Wrigley is not three Shalos Regalims. That's right. He said it's three every day. There's a yard that have a different sadik. It's not a big deal what he's saying. That's what Rashi, he's saying. One's a regal. That's what he's saying. Shouldn't say tachlan each day. That's what he's saying. Naftali, Naftali. The first shot in Rashi means yomtif. The second shot in Rashi is that it means yard, yard sites that they, they made it into episode yomtif. So that depends and, what shul you go to. Correct. Yes, that's it what, does. Yes, it does, Naftali. Yes. Um, don't say tachlan. The yard site. Um, now, if Tali wakes up and he's almost done saying Kaddish. <laughs> yeah. So, by the way, also, when it's... Rabbi Rodkin yeah. likes to say over when he was a teenager, 
in Crown Heights. So the Shtibli Davinin, when they when the when the shot stepped stepped out of Shemanesra, the the Gabu would look in the, the safer with the yard sites. He would say, Heint is whoever's yard site, and the shots would say Iskado, no Tafi. So one day the, the Gabu opens up the safer and he says, Rav Shimon Shkop. And nobody in the Shtibel, the Gabu the Gabu didn't know who he was, and nobody in the Shtibel knew who he was. So the Gabu thought for 10 seconds, he says, if he's in the safe, he's an Adam God, he's God. Well, he's <laughs> serious. Uh, where, where was this? In the, the Shtibel in Crown Heights, where uh, Shmuel grew in East of Davin. Um, I think Sulitz has a whole list. There's a safer, a whole... yeah. There's a safer, there's a safer day by day yeah. all year. I think they have a sign on the wall there, watch ones that they go with, because they don't, Sulitz doesn't always skip Tachnun. They, they, I think they have like Satmarim and Hogim. Satmar is pretty mockbit on this. But anyways, so then there's another thing that's just interesting in Yonah Diyoma, because when it says, when this guy said he took it from a Azika, right? So Rashi says it was like a strong place and, and it was Shemitah that year, which is, is this year, right? It was Shemitah that year. And there was a fence around the there was a fence around the yard, right? Which is another Isser. Because what did the guy say? He he's selling fruits of Arla, which is also to eat, and it was Neta Ravai, which is also to eat, and it's also Azika. So what's Usr about Azika? So Rashi says what's Usr is is that there was a fence around it and it was Shemitah. So he was saying like it's a guarded pardis thinking that, oh, this is Givaldic. And really, he was saying it's a problem. But Rashi says, what's the Isser to have a fence around it in Shemitah? I Meaning you're not allowed to watch your the fruits and vegetables in Shemitah. Does that mean that every farmer has to take down his fence? So Rashi asks Akasha, and he says, no, Shemitah does not, you, you're allowed to keep your fences up, even though it will cause some sort of Shemitah for Shemitah, but it will. Right? That's the way Rashi says. And Taisvis disagrees. So it's a, a major Yisaitis Dikat Taisvis Right, we're all going to be buying a sroigim bezes Hashem in a couple of months. It's a big machlokes. Rashi, Rabbeinu Tam, over whether a, a man is a, a whether a farmer is allowed to have his field surrounded by a fence. Rashi here says he he's allowed to. Um, and Taisa says not. Um. Yeah. Okay. So let's see weiter. Abba Yudin, seven lines down from the top. Abba Yudin ish sayodin. So Abba Yudin was a was like uh, of Sayodin. I don't know if that means the town or it means he was a trapper. Omar, There was a Maisa of a Yidin a guy traveling. And a guy said, Why, what was to the Yid that was with me on the way? He died when he was traveling with me and I buried him. Based on the testimony. Again, because it was Masih Lefituma. There was a uh, there was a koyler shabane adam. It was a chabura of men that they were going to Antuchi. And what was for this whole group that was traveling to Antioch that they all died and I buried them. They was based on his testimony. There were 60 men, they were traveling to the city of Betar, meaning what it really means um, when the Betar was under siege. They died and I buried them. And we married, they married off their wives based on this testimony. I'm not exactly sure why the Gemara needs so many cases, so many cases like this. Okay. We we accept the testimony the edus by by the orhaner, right? And uh, and by the oralavano, who must see in al pi baskol, and we're gonna marry up. Right. What it means, Rashi says, it's that you heard a voice saying that this guy died, but nobody saw anybody. Nobody actually saw the person dead. Um, right? Yeah? So, so it's meaning that he just heard a voice that he died. There was a guy standing on the top of the mountain. 
And he said, Um, a, this person from this place from uh, Makam and he died. But they didn't find anybody there. But they still married off his wife. I'm the son of Pliny. was bitten by a snake. I'm dying. And they, and they didn't reckon them. But they went if any based on the voice that came out that said the guy died. Fine. So okay. So Amar Rav was talking. Amar Amar Rav was Shmuel. Tana beShamay Omer. We learned that beShamay says Ein Masi and Alpi Baskol. We don't. Meaning beShamay disagrees with our mission. Masi and Alpi Baskol. And beSilul says we do marry Alpi Baskol. So this is an interesting thing. The Gemara is going to ask about because Rav. Mool is telling us that there was a machlaikis Beshamay and Beshilo. Now, where was everybody else in the world? And he's the only one that knew that there was this machlaikis. We have hundreds of machlaikis Beshamay and Beshilo. And this machlaikis Rabbi Bar Shmuel, he's the one that knew about it. So then the Gemara says, My Kamash, what's the Chiddush? It's a Mishnah. Our Mishnah Paskins like Beshilo. So the Gemara answers, No, Hakamash, right? If you find a Stam Mishnah that says, Don't marry a woman off. From based on a baskol, beshamai, you should know that it's beshamai, and we don't paskin like that. So basically, what he's saying is that maybe you'll come across a stam mishnah, not like beshamai, and I mean like beshamai, and just let you know that it's not we're not going to paskin it, which is schwer. The mafarshim ask what what's going on. Are there mishnayos that are the uh, mishnayos or brises floating around out there that nobody ever heard of? That maybe it is beshamai. If it is a stam, if it is stam, then that means. That maybe we do paskin like it. Okay, but that's that's a whole tumult. Fine. And they went and they didn't find anybody, right? They heard this voice say this guy died, but they didn't find anybody. The Gemara says, Vadilma shade who? Maybe it was a shade. Who says that it was a real person announcing that this person died? Maybe it was a shade trying to pull shtick, right? Shade them are always trying to get at the yidin. No, they saw they saw some sort of demus of a person. Okay. Uh, they, they, I guess, how would you call it? A silhouette, maybe? Something like that. They saw something at the top of the mountain. So the Gemara asks, in Unami Damu. So the, the shade can also make himself look like that. So he says, the Chazulei Babua, because they saw it they saw it with a shadow. So the Gemara seems to be thinking that a shade can have shadows. In Unami Isbalubuas, okay, but the Gemara asks, a uh, shade does have a shadow. The Gemara answers, the Chazulei Babua de Babua. He sees it as a bua. He sees it as a bua of a bua. Then I'm going to ask Dilma, who is Lu Babua de Babua? Maybe they have the shade also has a bua de Babua. Then I'm going to say, you understand shade of Babua is Lu Babua de Babua less Lu. No, he says, you understand the shade told me that we only have, meaning shade them only have buas. They don't have buas de buas. The Dilma, the Gemara says, the Dilma Tsarahavai. Maybe the, the person, right? We said the other day, we said the other day that the tsara will look to make her co wife have tsaras. Right? I guess that's what it's called. So, meaning she'll try and arrange it that her co wife will become usher. So maybe she's the one that called out that the guy died so that the tsara will go and get remarried based on that. And then the guy's going to appear and then she's going to be an Asha Sish La'ilam. So Tana Dvei Rabbi Shmo, Bashasa Stakana, Kaisvin Vinaisnin, Afal Pisha, Ain Makirin. Bishasa Sakona, then you you uh you we can a write a get to, for the wife, right? Meaning if a man says this is my wife and it's a shasa sakona, then meaning the basically the guy is dying. So we don't have time, we want to get the get out of him. So um he says, write the get to my wife, whoever her name is, blah 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 blah, go. So we don't have time to confirm it. So the shasa sakona. We uh we allow it, right? So the assumption is here too. He's he's at the top of the mountain, and they yell out that the guy is dying. So we're gonna we're gonna accept it, right? So that's uh, so that's why we're not chayshu that it's gonna be from a tzar. Fine. Talk to Mishnah, and this we had before. Amar Rebbe Kiva, 
when I went out to to make a leap year, I found Nehemiah from Beis Dali. I heard that in Eretz Yisrael they don't marry a woman and Aguna off based on uh, the Eidos from one person. And the only one that says it, Eli Yehuda ben Bava, the only one in Eretz Yisrael who will be matter such a thing is Yehuda ben Bava. And I and I said to him, right? Rashi says Amarti loy. I have no idea why the mission do such an interesting lush. And why does the mission just say Amarti loy? Right? Okay. For Nemisi loy, and I told him, Kain had tvarim that that's true. That the only one that matters is Yehuda ben Baba. So then the Chemi is back. Amar lehem mishmi. Tell the people in Eretz Yisrael in my name, Atem yoidim shemadinu mushaveshes v'kayos. Right? You know that the country is full of, uh, you know. Uh, Armies and it's dangerous, which means, and I'm not able to go down and tell them this myself. And I have a Kabbalah from that you can marry a woman off based on one person's aid. And when I came to Eretz Yisrael and told Rabbi Gamliel, meaning his uh, that his grandfather held that you are allowed to marry off. A person, a woman, based on one person's edus. Sameach ledvarai. He got. He was very happy with my words. We finally found a chaver, somebody else who has an opinion, just like Yudah ben Baba. And then Rabbi Gamliel remembered Shenergu Harugim betel Arza. So there were people that get died in Tel Arza, and they never mattered their wives. Vehisi Rabbi Gamliel is just saying al pi And Rabbi Gamliel, after this conversation, mattered them. Based on the the edus of an aid, aid, and then they decided that they're going to even be matter aid me pi aid. Meaning, a guy comes to bed and says, "I heard from this other guy that this fellow died." That's also enough. Memi pi evan from a slave, me pi isha from a woman, me pi shifcha and from a slave also. Right, Rabbi Lazar, Rabbi Shua, I'm Rabbi Ein Masiyin as isha al pi aid echad. We, Rabbi Lazar and Yeshua, said that we don't marry off a woman al piyed echad. Rabbi Kiva, I'm loy al isha, not from a woman, v'loy al evan, not from a evan, v'loy al shivcha, not from a shivcha, v'loy al pi kreivim, and not based on on relatives either. So we're going to see in the Gemara that Rabbi Yeshua, Rabbi Kiva, all said this din before they made this takana, right? See, Yaakov, uh, what, what did, did we come up with the maskana? I mean, not that we're passing over here. About uh, the amount of time based on the weather, with the physical conditions. We didn't come up with a psak. We didn't uh, psak and I, as you're saying this, it just remember I read a few articles about uh, the climbers of Mount Everest. The guys who uh, died there, they leave them laying there. They never move them. They just lay there. You climb over dead bodies to go to Mount Everest. Because it's Crazy. too much of a sakana to use your strength to move the bodies. So they just, they were in a spell five years ago, an Israeli climber saved somebody's life and he carried them down and faced us how many thousands of feet to a different campsite. And, they, and he was the first person that ever did such a thing. They leave the people, lay there and die. They never, and they, when they're dead, they just, they leave them there. Crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's probably the halacha, right? You don't put your life in danger to. No, I'm not. I'm just saying it's a just weird thing. I mean, I, 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 I'd rather play softball in the park. You know what I mean? It's just like, yeah. It was so shit I was reading this. Yeah. Listen. Uh, <laughs> the, the body, the body stay because it's such a se severe weather. Yeah. So that would be a case. Like a guy comes down the mountain and says, "By the way, your husband died up there." Right? Yeah. He'd be believed. Okay, so Zog the Gemara, Frag the Gemara, Basar Rabbi Kiva, I'll pee Isha Loi. Rabbi Kiva holds that you can't marry off a woman based on a woman's testimony. Batani Rabbi Shimon Lazar, I'm Shum Rabbi Kiva, right? He's the Rabbi Shimon Lazar said the name of Rabbi Kiva, Isha Nemenis, Lavi Gita, Lava Chaimer. A woman is believed to bring a get with a Kava Chaimer, meaning she comes to Bezdin from, from overseas and he says, uh, you have to say, right? But she's allowed to. What about the women who are not believed to say that the husband died? Meaning, we said there's five women mother in law, sister in law, etc., etc. Those five are not believed because we're afraid 
that they hate the sister-in-law or the daughter-in-law, so therefore they're going to say the wrong edus. Then even though they're puzzled to say edus al aguna, but they're neman to bring their get. Yeah. So zu. I mean, the reason we said is because since they're actually bringing a get, there's much more nemonis. Saying edus that the husband died is just out of thin air. It's easy to just make up that story, but to actually bring a, a written get, that's already more difficult, right? So zu shenemenes lemer meispalas, so a regular woman who's believed to say her husband died, and it didn't shenemenes lavigita, should be a kavachaymer that she should be neman to bring her own get. So nashim shamru chachamim hu delay mehemni. It's only the women... That the Chacham said, meaning the five women the Chacham don't believe, Isha and Ba'alma Mehemna, but a regular woman we do believe. And this is Rebbe Kiva talking. So how can Rebbe Kiva and our Mishnah say we don't believe a woman? Well, our answer is like Kasha, Kan Kaidem Shechaziku, Kan Laacha Shechaziku. No one is once they made a Chazaka that they're starting to, like in the Mishnah, they decided to, Rebbe Gamliel decided to start accepting um, Edus. So one, when Rebbe Kiva said his, his the, in our Mishnah, he said it before, and and this brisa was said after. So the question is, we had this a couple of times before. So why don't they take it out of the Mishnah, right? If he already changed his mind from this, so why you meaning in the Mishnah we have the story about how they started to believe it, right? Then, then, uh, um, and then the Gemara, then the Mishnah says the Rebbe Lazar Rebbe Shua that we don't believe it, right? Why are you saying it? Just just don't say it. Okay, so that's uh, we we said like many we said a few times that the missionary shine lays zazam and mekayma. You don't move it from its from its original place. The way the Mishnah was, you leave it, even though the psak halacha changes. Yeah, which is why asking from Mishnayos. Yeah, the the original what Nehemia said was that that the uh, that you should believe in Echad. Where did they get from him the Chemia? Once they, where they, 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 he, he, what he said from Rabbi Gamliel Zakan was, you believe in Echad. Where did they, why is the next step automatically to assume that women are also believed in Echad? Could he could have just met the man? Normally, isn't that like a two steps? Isn't that another level, like more machodish to say that a, a, an Eid Echad that's a woman is believed more than Stam and Eid Echad? Rabbi Gamliel yes. Zakan never said an it never said in the Mishnah Rabbi Gamliel Zakan was not machal between a man and a woman when it comes to believing in Eid Echad. Right, but I think what the way we look at it is that when you have an Eid Echad, so a woman has the, is the equivalent of an Eid Echad. I think we said that a bunch of a lot ago. Yeah, a woman believes like any other Eid Echad. Lagabi sure. Hundred women are believed like an Eid Echad. That's the. But is that yeah. only Mishumi Gona? I'm just saying. I'm just asking on the way they derived it from Nechamia, from Rabbi Gamliel Hazaki. Yeah, no, I hear you're right. You're saying that it's it's basically he's saying a dacha, but I think that's the way we look at Clearly it. Clearly, it's a chiddush, right? Clearly, it's only a chiddush like a guna. So I'm just Correct. saying, take you to take that from Gamliel Zakin. Right. No, that's true. But we do say that multiple, we do say that multiple women are only going to be a dacha. Right, but I'm saying there are other a dacha that be surin that have nothing to do with that. We wouldn't believe a woman for correct. Surim, right? But this is not a surim. This is. This, I understand. This is, so I'm saying the idea of. I'm saying it's another chiddush to say that. That's all. I don't know. I I, I agree. The Gemara likes the pasuk that way, but from a Gemara, it's not mashma necessarily. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. I hear that's that's an interesting point. Yeah. So it's a very good. So Zokta Mishnah. Amr Loi, Ma'aser Bnei Levi. The story of Bnei Levi. Shachol Etzayar Ira Tamarim. They went to Tzayar, the city of uh, palm trees. Bechala Echad Meyem. One of them got sick. Veviu Bepundik. So they put him into the pundik into the hotel. Yeah. Um, and then they went on their way. And nobody stayed with him. <laughs> I don't know. Some of these stories are so strange. A guy gets sick, so you leave him there. We're going on a tour. We leave the guy by himself in a guy's hotel, and we're just going to go on our tour. Okay. Where's our buddy? So she answered back. He died, and I uh, um, he died, and I and I uh, um, uh, no, I'm saying she said back to them. Um, uh, he died and uh, and I buried him. Right? Uh, it's interesting. Two Mishnais in a row, just chaptis, are using the word nomus, which means it just means the word Omar. Right? All of a sudden, here, these last two Mishnais, it, instead of saying the word Omar, it says 
Nun vav mem yud sof. Rabbanan, this maybe has to do with the, the you know, the sense of humor. Right? Mace, I mean, this, she's saying that he's mace, and they decide to use a lushan of Omar, no, numus, right? If that's not making, you know, <laughs> your vomits even more, right? So numus lahem, mace su kvartiv. She said to them, Omar lahem, right? Rashi says numus, and in the last mission also, numus means Omar lahem. Anyways, may um, sukvartiv. They died, and he died, and I buried him. Vesiu asistra, and they married. They they married off his wife based on this lady's testimony. Now, shouldn't shouldn't uh, the the mission is saying shouldn't we have to see in the Gemara exactly what this means? A little difficult to understand from the Mishnah. Now, shouldn't it be okay? Should a should a kaihenas meaning a yid a yidish lady believed like the pundikis? So they said back to him, if a Yiddish lady would be like this Pundikis, Nemenis, she would be believed. Why? Because it wasn't just that this lady said he died and I buried him. She brought out his Sefer Torah that he traveled with and his wallet and his stick. So if she brought that out, so that means she's showing that she has proof that this is that that he died. Now, how exactly that's a proof maybe that he she's died? Not... Maybe she's Tamar. Man, it's, it's funny. That's funny. Those three things. Well, not say for Torah, but yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, no, no. traveled. Yes, on Tamar base. So my is the Tamar because that's the that's the connection between Amar and Numis. No, oh. <laughs> that's British. British. I hear. Interesting. Okay, so Mike, so then I'm going to ask Mike, use of the Pundicus. What's so bad about the Pundicus? Right? Why are we? My, why was there even a Shiloh about her Nemonus? Right? Didn't we say that uh, Anisha's Nemon? Summer of Kahana, Pundicus of Azkom. No, it was a Goyish lady. Haisa, she was. Umasicha Lafituma Haisa. And she was Masiach Lafituma. She, again, she was saying it from innocence. Zemaklev is a Tamilev is a Kever Shikvarti boy. This is his stick. This is his wallet, and this is the caver that I buried him. I don't know How what happened. To... How are these two things a raya? That, it's uh... not... oh, it's what should be a raya? Maybe he's hiding in the back room, or maybe he oh. just left. So the one he didn't that... ask for money? But we let her remarry on that basis. Correct. Correct. So well, it's what... a complex. Both. Then how is this a raya that he's dead? Correct. It's 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 a little schwer. It's a little difficult to understand how this is a raya that he's dead. It seems like it's just more of a raya that it was Masih Lafitumai. She I mean she, she was just showing him by the way, here's his here's his here's his stuff. Take it. Right? It seems like it's a machik you shame about that if you have in the two girls of Rashi. Oh well, how to how to learn of what is this the raya from the makla? Is the makla itself is the semanum in of itself the raya or is it bringing a raya to Masih Lafitumai? Um, yeah, one second. That's is that how it goes? Well, Rashi, the first Shana Rashi seems to be saying it's all Messiah of Yitumai, but the second Shana Rashi, Rashi says, Well, it's Simon and Samku. You mean based he's on the second, he's not in Bavarning the Messiah of Yitumai, second gears on Rashi in the bottom of the Correct. Line, right? Okay, Correct. Yeah. And a Hanami, and a Hanami. It's still unclear why the why, like Zev is saying, why the that proves that he's that he was dead. But okay, fine. Zev is about this. Time. This last three words of the Gemara here, that that v'zek um, hevish kvartiv boy. Why? I mean, that should be proof. They can always dig him up. In her mind, at least, they can dig him up. Right. What do you mean? I mean, you want to dig him up? Uh, yeah, Taka, I don't know why they would. All these cases, why don't you dig him up? Why didn't, in the previous Gemara, why don't you just ask the guy, take us back to the burial place and let's. Because you, in the Shtan, it's the group for it. What do you mean? You can't, you can't be mad there. Three yeah. hours later? It's not it three hours out. later. It's, they came back. It's a few days later. Right, yeah, it could have been a long time, but at least you could see that this episode body it gives you more of a reason. You're not going to be able to prove it 100%, but it can't hurt. Or at least have them show them the place of the burial. I don't know. It's it, again with all these things. We're not. We're not looking to. We're looking to be matar agunas. We're not looking to be made to to be machmer. Right. 
Okay, so let's see. Right, the Vachain Tony four lines down. Vachain Tony Abba Braid the Rabbi Yumi Barchia Pundikis Abbas Gavavam Haisel Masichal of Ituma Haisel Zemak Makle Vazet Tamil Vazet Kevashik Vartabas. So, Gmar asks, Vahi Chavarenu Kamrila. I'm sorry, Vaha Aye Chavarenu Kamrila. They asked her, Where is our friend? So, if she answers, He's dead, that's not Masichal of Ituma. See, the Ituma says, They happen to tell you, let me tell you a story. This guy died, or I'm coming to tell you the guy died. But here they asked, Where is he? Right? Maybe she kidnapped him. Anyway, so Gemara says, no, keeping the chazazinu, since she saw them, Bachia, she started crying. Amrullah, and then she told them, Ayye, Amrullah, so they said to her, Ayye chavarenu, Amrullahem, Mesu Kvartiv, he died. Meaning, so she started crying even before, before they even opened their mouth. So therefore, it makes it, uh, it makes it, Masih Levitumar. Fine. So, Tana Rabbana, Maisa Badam Echot Shabbat Lahayat Ala Isha, there was a story with a man came to say Adus about for a woman in front of Rav Tarfin that a man died. Amalev. So Rav Tarfin said, Bini, again, this is Bini Gershon. How do you know the Adus of this Isha? Meaning, how do you know the husband? Amar, he said, We were both traveling. And uh, an army was chasing after us. And and he he held on to a piece of a zayis, an olive branch, upashchu, and he took it. He ripped it off the tree. The hichser as a zayis and uh, and he put the uh, and he and I guess he fought them with this. <laughs> he he made them he made them retreat. So martili arye yiyasha koychacha peretz. There you go yiyasha koychacha, right? The, um, the arye he says you're a lion. You should you 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 should get stronger. Amrlay me nine at the yedei she Arye Shmi. How do you know my name was Arye? Kach karen I see beiri. This is my name in the city. Yochanan berebi Yahinistan. Arye de mikfar shichya. That was his name. So the yomim follow mace. And then the guy said a few days later he died. The history of Tafrin is Ishtayim. Based on this, Reb Tafrin married off his wife. Then the Gemara says, "Reb Tafrin leboy drishu of Chakira." Reb Tafrin didn't need uh, interrogation. I guess that's the way to teach it. Drisha means to, to look in and Chakira, we know Chakira means to clear it. But What's Tanya, the What's the shayla? That you can't just accept the testimony. You got to ask for more detail. Who says? So that's what the Gemara is saying. A riot that seems that Rav Tarfin did ask for more detail. Right? Tarfin's the asking. Is assuming, the Gemara is assuming that Drisha Chakira has that. Yeah, because it was based on this next b'risa, on the next line. Which is interesting because it sounds like a very similar story. So it seems like there were there were conflicting stories here, right? Because let's see. A man came to say Adus Isha. So the Gemara says, "Well, how do you know this?" I am the Lion. I see you are a Lion. How do you know this? 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 How Right, and it broke off. The hichser is a gaius lacharav, and he put the gaius. Um, it's whatever they retreated. Amarti la yasha koychacha arye, um yasha koychacha arye, which is also a different lashon. Amarli yafa kivanta lishmi, you were mechaven to my name. Shekach karen oisi beiri yachin and ben yonis and arye de mikvar shichya. Fine. Liyamim chalo me. So then he died. Um, he got sick and died. Amar loy loy kach amarti li didn't um. So then, oh no, so that's the end of the story. So Amr Loi, so Reb Tarfin said to him, Loi kach amarti li, yoichanan ben yoinesan de mikvah shich ya arye. Didn't you tell me that his name was yoichanan ben yoinesan from kvah shich ya arye? I mean, he mixed up what the guy said. The guy had said that his name was arye, right? Yo, I'm sorry, yoichanan ben yoinesan arye de mikvah shich ya. And Reb Tarfin purposely tried to trip him up by changing some of the facts. So Amr Alei said back to him, Loi, he, he passed the test. Loi ela kach chamarti loch. He said, no, I said, Yoichin ben Yoinus and Arye de mikvar shichya. Right? So he he passed that test. The diktik alav shnayim ushloi shepo. My name was medaktik on him, meaning he asked questions him two or three times. V'kivon as devarov, and everything was mechuvin, everything uh, made sense. V'hisi as Reptarfin, Reptarfin as Ishtay, and Reptarfin married his wife. So you see, that the story, the way the story went, is that Reb Tarfin actually interrogated him a bunch of times, asked him a bunch of questions to see if he's legit. So you see that you do have to be legit 
When answers Tanoi, that's a machlaikus Tanoi. And the Tanya ain't bite can aid a nashim bedushiv chakira. We don't check into the edus of women with trishiv chakira. Divir Reb Kiva, Reb Tarfan, I'm a baitkin. Reb Tarfan says we are baitik, right? And in Reb Tarfan, there's a machlaikus whether Reb Tarfan really says that, right? Because we had a steer in Reb Tarfan. It's not going to help just to say that it's a machlaikus Reb Kiva and Reb Tarfan because we have a steer in Reb Tarfan. So the Gemara means is that there's a machlaikis in Reb Tarfin's shita, whether Reb Tarfin required Jewish of a Chakira or not. And what's a machlaikis? Taliyin, v'kam ifligi b'Reb Chanina, the Ta'amar Reb Chanina, v'ar ta'ira, echa dinei mominis, v'echa dinei nefashis, midai raisa, whether it's financial cases or whether it's um, capital, how do you call it, capital, death cases, but Jewish of a Chakira, you always have to look into it. Shenemar, mishpat echa yiyeh lachem, there has to be one judgment. Meaning for everything, anytime, um, anytime you have a judgment, you have to you have to do all the you have to question them. How come the Chachamim said no Jewish Chakira? So Shalaitin al Delis Bifnei Lovin because they shouldn't lock the door in front of borrowers, right? Which is exactly what's going on nowadays. And the, when the economy it gets, if there's no borrowing, then the economy gets lousy. So if you're going to start clearing to people exactly what uh, you have thought, you know, doing interrogations, how they're going to get back their money is your is is your proof that you made the loan legit or not? They're going to just they're just not going to lend money. They're not going to need it. But my if since there's a ksuba by marriage lemishkol to be taken, kedine mamanis tummy. So we look at marriage like it's dine mamanis because the bottom line is there is a dine mamanis factor. Since we do matter and ashes ish to the world, then it's considered din in and therefore we don't um we we uh we uh, are going to have to ask questions. So that's what the machloik is Italian. We'll stop over here so we can make the see him next week by Hashem. Okay. I think if, I think so if Jesse falls asleep, he's gonna drown. <laughs> I wanted to say something to go for, for parents and I was thinking uh, the same thing. <laughs> there was, born there. Sleep there. So Yaakov, there was a yeah. snowstorm the winter of '68, the first winter of the yeshiva. So Reb Zisol slept over by Reb Shloima for a couple of nights. So Sunday afternoon through Tuesday morning, the rabbits and had some cakes on the table, and the had a flesh of mashka and glasses. And when you came to the house to say hello. He, would, he, would, he had the yard site book of the G'daylam, whichever made L'chaim, whichever of the G'daylam for those two, those two three days. I, but they did this always? No, those two days. He so slept over. Only in the snow, they, they, and they, they didn't go to yeshiva, so. Interesting. That's and, and what they had the safer that had the yard sites. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's good. Right, L'chaim, everybody. Mitzvah, we'll see everybody right. next week, Tuesday. Hi, 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 going for the offer to Brooklyn? Hi, Hi. Hi. Have a yeah, choice? Yeah. Great to share next week. It's going to be the toughest thing to do, Paris. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Hi, Hi. 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 All right. For round one, you can still use your cards. For round two, we can. All right, good tonight. Let's get ready for round one. Wait, Thank you. Thank you. Round one. Take care. Uh, 5 tomorrow, you said? Go ahead. Round one is when I read the Hebrew and you tell me the English. Round two is when you read the Hebrew and English.